A dance or distributed antenna system is a method of providing coverage by using a series of small nodes or repeaters connected to a single common source that are able to extend wireless coverage in an indoor environment or across an outdoor environment. So we'll see here then there are two key types. For indoor deployments, we would refer to this as IDAS, and for outdoors, not surprisingly, we would refer to this as ODAS. So let's take a look at a key use case for a DAS system, in particular, an indoor DAS system. So if we consider a typical office building that may be set across multiple floors. Now, the coverage within the building may be patchy for a variety of different reasons, and what DAS allows us to do is extend that coverage so we can see we've got our nodes or our repeaters now these will all be these will be set across multiple floors and they will be connected together via some form of distribution system now the specifics will vary depending on what type of DAS system is in use uh, in the example of an active system where we might be using optical fiber to provide connectivity to the wireless components themselves we might have some form of fiber distribution hub an additional component that we might see here is a service provider head end. We will then also have our source. So we'll have the antenna itself, which might be located on the roof of the building where coverage is particularly good. Uh, and we can see this may then be sent down a, a fiber optic link or a coaxial link uh, to an amplifier. And the amplifier there is obviously used to uh, extend the signal and amplify the signal to provide adequate coverage across the whole building. Now, in terms of two key systems then, so we've got two options here for the type of DAS deployment that we use. We have passive DAS. Now, in this case, we would be using coaxial, uh, and as the name suggests, there's no external power source here. So this is the simplest, most cost-effective way to deploy DAS, but this might not necessarily work for every type of deployment. So we also have active DAS, and we can see there are a number of additional components there. Uh, we've got a DAS master, which will convert that RF signal into a digital signal. Uh, we've got a DAS remote. So this may be where we're looking to extend coverage, maybe into another building, or in the case of an outdoor deployment, uh, across a wider area. And we can see here, this would take the form of an optical fiber link. So, there are different use cases for each. We can see that what they have in common is sharing this donor antenna or this source. Uh, now, the source itself um, could, sit, could be a BTS, a base transceiver station. It could be a remote radio unit. It could be some form of, uh, of backhaul, for example. But ultimately, this is there to provide that onward connectivity into the mobile network itself.